Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming out to a 2015-16 Panini Black Gold Basketball. Four box, half case, random team number four. Big thanks to all these folks right here. Remember, one spot get to two teams, so let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. And all teams are in. Let's randomize each list. Five and a four, nine times. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. That's a deal, Tim. After nine times, we got David Z down to David Z. That's why dudes in the chat. Five and four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times. We got the Denver Nuggets down to the Portland Trailblazers. Now, remember, this is 2015 16 edition of Black Gold Basketball, so before you trade, keep that in mind. All right, David Z. Nuggets. Chris Day with the uh, Knicks and the Pelicans. Angelo with the Suns and the Rockets. David with the Pacers. George, you got my Lakers and the Pistons. Angelo with the Thunder. Lucas with the Celtics. David Z with the Clippers and the Nets. Lucas with the Spurs. David Bruins with the Hawks. Laura with the Warriors, David Z with the Raptors, Laura with the Bucks, David Z, um, Bulls, and Magic are your last spot mojo teams. Chris Day with the Jazz, Joe Carmonas, you got the Timberwolves and the Grizz, Angela with the Sixers, David Z with the Mavs and the Wizards and the Heat, Joe with the Cavs, Chris with the Hornets, Kings for Joe, and David Z with the Portland Trailblazers. Portlandia. Let's sort by team. And remember, here are the uh, boxes right here. We marked those number four so we know they're from the same case. We did the first half of this yesterday. What did we pull out of there? I forget. All right. Uh, looks like no trades. So let's close up that trade window. Any um, – who thinks the Warriors are going to – or who thinks the Raptors are going to win this series? Any Raptors fans out there? They're up 33-26 right now. I don't know. The Golden State looks kind of beat up. I think – is Steph Curry still under the weather? Clay Thompson I don't think is in this game. And Kevin Durant obviously hasn't been in this series at all. Is this time for the Raptors to strike while the mighty Warriors are down? Or do the Warriors just have too much championship pedigree and will have the experience and the know-how to grind out wins? At the end of the first, 36-29, Raptors in Golden State. The arena seems a little, little quiet as well. All right, so there's DeMarcus Cousins. And Thaddeus Young reveals a Jason Kidd. Out of 65, 48 out of 65, that is Nets edition of Jason Kidd. Did I not print out this list? I thought I did. Nets, Nets, Nets. Brooklyn Nets, that's for David Z with the Brooklyn Nets. Gianni says Raptors. Take the game or the series. I think they're still like two to one at mo in most in a lot of books. And then we've got Golden Opportunity, Miles Turner relic to 199. Pacers. That's gonna be for David Bruins. I think before this game started, the Raptors were plus 215 to win the series, which is pretty decent. I don't know what it, if the Raptors win today. I don't think I think it's gonna be kind of it's gonna be kind of different. All right, there's the final printout right there. 
Behind Zach Randolph is Jeff Teague for the Hawks. Then we've got grand debut signatures Jordan Mickey for the Celtics at a 199. Lucas Snow with the C's. Oh, you have the Raptors first half in this game, kind of big. I would have been nervous about a first half bet on this. I would have wanted to see how the how the game goes. Uh, we've got two Grizzlies right here, Mike Conley and Zach Randolph. 55 at a 99. I wonder, I wonder if they're going to move Mike Conley. Lakers could use a Mike Conley. Uh, Joe Carmonis with the Grizz. Ooh, Gianni thinks that uh, the Raptors will take the series as well. Interesting. Vince says, Punisher Prime says, I really think the Raptors can get this series. They had that last game. They just blew it. It was kind of ugly on both sides, right? Neither team was, was hitting shots until Iguodala hit that key three-pointer with a few minutes left in the fourth quarter. But if the Raptors at least scored one or two buckets in that period of time, that would have been at least overtime, if not a win. We've got Gordon Hayward, 5 out of 10. This is still Jazz edition of Gordon Hayward for Christopher Day. Well, I think I think the Warriors could be got, especially if Klay Thompson and Kevin Durant aren't healthy. There's John Starks for the Knicks. Vintage gold autograph, 105 to 149. That's for Christopher Day and the Knicks. There's Danilo Gallinari and Massive Materials Al Horford Hawks Edition out of 199. That's for David Bruins. There's Chris Paul, Clippers Edition. I wonder if he, Chris Paul, I think Daryl Morey trying to move Chris Paul, but that contract is so ridiculous. Stanley Johnson. Sizable signatures, 63 out of 99 for the Pistons. George for the Pistons. I think Chris Paul's still a solid player, but that contract making 35 plus million dollars a year, maybe even almost 40. There's Drew Holiday, Pelicans to 199. Makes Chris Paul difficult to trade. Um, I think so. Yeah, it doesn't say it doesn't. So yes, all cards ship. It would say if like it would say like veteran commons don't ship, but I think higher end stuff like this, or especially when there's so few cards. Yeah, in cases like that, everything will, will, will generally ship. There's Nerland's Noel for the Sixers. I think the card on the bottom is always the relic, right? There it is. There's LeBron James. Nice. Golden Jams. 13 out of 25. Cavs edition. Joe Carmona's with the Cavs. There you go. Oh, sorry, Gianni. That's why you should just watch this channel and not don't watch TV at the same time. That's a cool LeBron James right there. Game used material as well. And your autograph is Charles Oakley, another old school Nick. Vintage gold to uh, two, 149, 22 out of 149. That's another Nick for Christopher Day. You got John Starks and now some Charles Oakley.
Johnny, one day we'll we'll get we'll get television rights to the NBA Finals. There's Paul Millsap. There's uh, Rashawn Holmes, Sixers to one ninety nine. Sixers, that'll be for Angela with the Sixers. And we've got James Harden out of 199. Rockets talking like Angela with the Rockets. They're talking like they want to they wanna try to move everybody pretty much except for James Harden. Just kind of blow it up and start all over. Which you could still do with James Harden. All right, there's Brandon Knight revealing a bull. Bobby Portis, sizable signatures to 99. Did Bobby Portis not follow directions? Was he, wasn't he supposed to use a gold pen? That goes to David Z, last spot mojo. And one more box to go. Yeah, we heard about that, Landon. Craig Kimbrell, closer, might go to the Chicago, or is going to go to Chicago, I guess pending a physical, but seems like a pretty much a done deal. I thought the Braves were going to go. Red Sox. Right, Gianni. <laughs> right. You want to help out on getting the uh, rights to the NBA Finals? We only need $950 million more. You sat next to who, Tim? Bobby Portis? Yeah, I think Jaspi's only just barely getting into a larger location. It might take a little bit of time before we can, we can get TV rights to, uh, to the NBA. Unless we get... Unless we get bought out by ESPN. All right, there's Isaiah Kanan. Oh, you sat next to Bobby Portis on the plane. Did you talk to him? What did he, what did he have to say? There's Julius Irving. Nice. 14 out of 25. Let's see if that's, I hope that's game used. That would be pretty cool, Angela, with the Sixers. Yep, game more material right there on the bottom. That's awesome. How'd you know? I don't know if I'd be able to pick out Bobby Portis. I would. I mean, I. Would, you know, he's probably super tall. So you're like, all right, probably a basketball player, but <laughs> I wouldn't be able to look at his face and be like, Bobby Portis. The redemption is Maurice Harkless, black gold signatures. I know it's expired, but once again, you could probably scratch that off and still put that through the reward system. Um, Panini's usually pretty good about expired redemption. Mo Harkless, where were you in 2015-16? I gotta look at the checklist. I think he kind of overlaps between the Magic and the Trailblazers that year. Right, he's 6'11", right? Yeah, he's huge. Um, so you sent a pic to your brother and was like, who dis? Like, oh, wait, so he was able to know? He was like, oh, that's Bobby Portis, bro. Like, come on. Do you even Bobby Portis? There's black gold basketball. There it is. Oh, wait, you have Magic and Trailblazers? Well, we still have to know. We're all about the knowledge here. This will help us for next time. Mo Harkless, black gold signatures would be Trailblazers. Trailblazers. So even though David has both teams. <laughs> All right. There's Chris Weber. Kings edition. There is uh, Joe Young, Mighty Joe Young, for the Pacers to 199. Oh, your brother was a sports writer. That makes sense then. Grand debut signature, Montrezel Harrell for the Rockets out of 199. 
that'll be for Angela and the Houston Rockets. And behind Mr. Plumley is Carl Malone and John Stockton. Pick and roll. Dual relic. 63 out of 99 for the Jazzy Jazz. Chris Day with the Jazzy Jazz. There it is, both game war materials. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 2015 16 Panini Black Gold Basketball in the books. Thanks very much, everyone. I think we got some more hoops in the store, right? Upper Deck Supreme Hard Court, I think, is in the store. So check that out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We'll watch the rest of this game. Game three. Break some more basketball and some more new releases. We'll see you next time.